Good morning everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and here we are with day 2 of tips for the Galaxy Note 8. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I wanted to show you guys is pretty much a couple of features on the camera. So go ahead and open up your camera app, swipe to the right, and from here what you're going to do is click download. I've already downloaded the rear cam selfie and animated GIF, but if you click on download, you can also download sport shots. So it just basically gives you other modes when taking pictures. So now that you've downloaded your other modes, which is the rear cam selfie, animated GIF or GIF, and sports, I'm going to show you the floating button, which I think is quite useful. So go ahead, up, go ahead and open up your camera app again, tap on settings, scroll down, and turn on the floating camera button. Now this works in regular mode and also taking a selfie but this is actually quite useful and you can see the button right here you can move it around so if you're left-handed right-handed it allows you to grip your phone and actually take a picture so that's really quite useful here I'll move it to the right so you can see it a little bit better our next tip is customizing your S Pen now S Pen should launch your favorite apps that you would use with your S Pen. So there's a couple of ways to access this. The easiest way is to remove the S Pen and click Add Shortcuts. And from here, you can remove and add other applications that you would use often with your S Pen. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the ones that are preset. You can also add, for example, Chrome or other applications that you have installed on your phone. So we can even add YouTube as one of your defaults. And it goes on and on. We can add camera gear, or Samsung gear rather, Samsung Pay. Um, we'll go ahead and remove that. And from there, on the pen, it becomes a, a wheel that you can just scroll and navigate. So go ahead and try it out and add your favorite applications or the ones you use most often now our last tip for today is how to launch two different applications. Now our tip from yesterday is pretty much pairing them and adding them to your app's edge. So if we open that, both YouTube and Chrome will open. So the other way is to pretty much just tap on your most recent applications and to go ahead and select different apps, all you'd have to do is tap any one of these icons or any one of these applications rather that has the dual rectangles up top. So let's just say we'll just click on messaging. And from here you would just tap your next application and you can go ahead and multitask that way. Now to go from one app or another if you want to get rid of it you just swipe up or down. So now we're just using Chrome by itself and to just close everything off, just tap that and click close all if you want to start all over. All right, so that's our quick tips for day two on getting the most out of your Galaxy Note 8. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.